My name is Gloria Washington and I am an assistant professor at Howard University and um, I am the director of the Effective Biometrics Lab. So within the Effective Biometrics Lab, we do a lot of research on how you can identify people and individuals based off of their physical and behavioral characteristics. But the difference between the Effective Biometrics Lab and some of the other labs at bigger universities are we focus on a social culture social technical way of identifying people meaning that we take into account cultural aspects about a person and how community shapes an individual's ways of how they do things so currently we have about four projects the first project is in sickle cell application that is developed for children and adolescents with sickle cell disease Mainly within this app, we want to make sure that um, we predict stress, anxiety, and depression to make them feel positive so they have an outlook for the future. Then the um, second application that we're looking at is a post-traumatic stress disorder application. It'll be a desktop app that therapists will use throughout their day to diagnose and code up certain notes about a person who is exhibiting, I guess, um, startle reactions related with PTSD. So what we're finding is that we're recording heart rate and heart rate variability from video segments using micro movements. But what we're finding is that for certain people of color who have darker skin, you cannot get these micro movements. So we're trying to use steerable algorithms to be able to detect the RGB channels for the micro movements. Then the third project that we have is also a um, accelerometer recognition meaning that the way that a person walks with their gait recognition and stuff like that are identifiable to an individual. And the last project, which I'll end on, is an ear recognition problem. So we're developing a database specific to Howard that will take into account all kind of ears from people of color and then also the um, predominantly, other in, predominantly other groups. So this will take into account, how, and it can be used for wider sets for biometrics. So come visit me at Howard University in the Effective Biometrics Lab.